Okay, we are working on uh, PicoMac support for the RP2350, and by popular request, we've got audio support going. Um, so behind me, in front of me, you can see, um, I'm actually booting the Dark Castle 1.2 System 3 diskette, because for some reason it's not working under System 6. Happy Mac. Boots right into Dark Castle with that awesome music. And then, so I suck at this game. So I'm gonna click demo <laughs> because you don't wanna watch me play. Like I just get like killed in 30 seconds. I gotta get my practice back. Um, but this game had great audio. Um, what's cool is you're seeing the DVI output from the RP2040 board here, this DV, DVI output, going into a USB capture card, so you're getting pixel perfect um, imagery. One thing I'm noticing is that there's a little bit of this like um, flicker from like a double buffer, and I don't know if that's from the original game. I gotta go, I gotta go back and watch um, the original game on an emulator to see if that's normal, if that's our hardware. Um, but yeah, this is a, a classic game. People love it. And um, I think it's like so much better to play it if you have uh, audio going. So that's our demo. Good work um, to Jeffler, who, by the way, did all of this. I had nothing to do with it <laughs> um, and got the audio going out I2S. So this is going to a speaker, um, which is then fed into the recording studio. Um, all right. Working on the hardware real soon now. People will get the Fruit Jam boards in the store and you can play all your favorite retro games on an RP2350.